Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about the filter choice web part. To do that, I'm going to use this customers list here and I'm going to add a page to let me choose country. So it lets me choose a country and see the customers in that. So I'm going to insert two web parts. First of all, I'm going to have all the customers, of course. And then I'm going to add another web part on top of that. So I'm going to try to get the cursor on this web part here. Let's see, and then I'm going to insert another web part in there. And that's going to be one of the filters. I'm going to use the choice filter. So that got added at the bottom. I didn't want it there. So let's try to move it up. Or actually, let's try to move the other one down. I think that will be simpler. I'm going to minimize this. Move it down. There we go. Now I have the filter at the top, and sometimes the filter web part doesn't really show its, you know, the regular drop down here. So what you need to do then is go into web part properties up here. That works too. And then I'm going to type in the, the choices I have. Here they appeared all of, all of a sudden, and the choices, of course, are all the countries. And an easy way to get all the countries from inside SharePoint here is to go into the list settings and as you see the, the country is now a single line of text. So if I go into that and change it to a choice, which is a good thing to do anyway, I get all of the options here, all of the used ones. So I'm just going to control C that. I can, my, I can do that change also and then I simply add those choices here, all of them like that. All right. And uh, that concludes the modifications I do to that web part. Now, the only thing that I need to do is connect these two web parts with each other. I'm going to do that here by doing connections. Notice that I do this in Chrome now. Usually I find that Chrome is more stable on this thing, on doing this modification. So I'm going to send the filter values to customers. And then I get a dialog which is blocked, so I'm going to unblock that. Let's try that again. So I'm going to do a, fil a connection, send filter values to customers, and here's my dialog. Popping up, there it is. And now I'm going to get parameters from, guilt filter values from is probably right. I'm going to continue there, and I'm going to do the country. That's the field I want to apply the filter on. So let's try that. Finish. Now they're sending values to customers, sounds about right, and I'm saving this now. So there, of course, I forgot to um, undo the minimizing that I did of the customers, so let's restore that. And now I save. And now you'll see that if I select Finland here, I get some Finnish sounding customers there. So that's how I would use the choice filter web part. So that concludes my demo. You create a page, you add the choice filter, and you connect the two web parts. That's about it. Thank you for watching.